Stay, follow our Twitter, house. Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, sub, Look, support. This grand final's gonna be hype. Yeah. Sub the house. We're getting right into it. Tilda versus Quid. We are on town and city. They are going to be dying so early up the side. The combos are going to be so strong. The advantage is going to be so good. Both players have been so excellent so far this tournament. And we're starting off with a big combo from Tilde to get the ball rolling. And let's see the response from Quid. Looking yep. for the landing. Yep. And we actually saw a really good response in terms of that falling aerial to get out of that and then started the combo of its own. Uh, Quid keeping even percent because of that choice. Back to the ground, Quid maintaining that advantage state. However, a misplaced Raze Leaf is going to get punished by Tilde with that fair from ledge. Yep. This is for a reflect. Big punish coming out now. Yep. Now, see, this is where if you're Quid, you don't want to get help and hit up into the air because you've got no platforms to return to. They just come back now. Ooh, and a wait there. I think Tilde recognized the DI was really a little bizarre there from uh, Quid and was able to get Quid out of that situation. So once Tilde recognized, I am not in a position to back air. I have to come back down. And it put him in disadvantage and allowed for that charge on FTL to eventually come out and hit. But a side back is going to be enough to take that charge on right out. And we are moving right back into even stocks in this game number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a big whip punish. Yep. Ooh, but a missed grab right there. Um, Double up air, back, oh no, it's straight into back air. Right. And we've seen so far how potent this Squirtle has been at uh, maintaining advantage state against Tilde's Falco. That down tilt not going to be able to Q-frame. Yeah. Actually a little uh, conservative on that one, not often to go out for the uh, ledge guard, or edge trap. Edge guard, jeez. Oh goodness, a big tech actually from Quid would have ended up under the stage there. It's a tricky situation. Um, so, uh, totally good recognition to go for that dare there, but uh, even better recognition by Quid to make that tech. Okay, now Quid, speaking of, in advantage state, looking for that fair, looking for those confirms into Uppy. That up air, any move at this point will do it in for Falco, any conversion into a move that f will put Falco in the corner. Yep. Oh, nice. dash attack, that was a whiff punish. But nice. the up air is going to come out anyway, and, take and out Tilde. Qu Quid doing an excellent job on this one, not just sharking and make it difficult for Tilde to land, but also trying to hold center stage. Even when Quid had made a misplay on that one, gets sent to the ledge until they has stage, rolled right back in, establishes dominance over the neutral. And a missed fast fall on that uh, fair there. Ends up uh, not allowing Tilde to get that stop. And a missed back hit. Okay, we're playing with boxes uh, on, that, on that down tilt. Oh, oh no. All right, good tech. tech. And we're backstage. What? Both what? players are back. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Big tech's coming up from Tilde. Survivability is the key here. As we mentioned, who is better in disadvantage is may very well decide to set. Tilde's been so strong so far. But, charge it up, E. Excellent Yo. DI there. Yes. Going to be able to get Still out. Still living on this one. This is rough, though. This is a very, very angry Charizard at high percent. And catches that jump fair. We've seen that come out, option come out from Tilde, and Quid says, I have seen that coming out from Tilde. It's my turn to punish it. You are in a lot of lag after that. You, you click that fair, um, and that up angle charge on F-Tilde is going to be enough to take it. Mm -hmm. And we see there, of course, the excellent defense coming out from Tilde in that recovery with not only the text, but the angles chosen as well. But I think we saw um, just a little bit better from Quid in that playing with that advantage state, but not pressing it too far, getting that punish with the up out of shield, set the momentum to end that game. And we're going to see, this is potentially our last game of Grand Finals. Tilde going to small battlefield. We're seeing so far how Quid has been able to dominate the stage control game, has been able to be so consistent in disadvantage, uh, and the opportunity here to be a Xeno champion certainly has to be on the mind, but you got one more game to cap it out. Absolutely, and I do like, again, we're seeing some of that Quid's patience on that one until they landing with the dare and then waiting for the up tilt to go for the grab punish on that one. Ooh, looking for a drag down there. Almost able to chase with that dare to end the stock, but not enough just yet. Squirtle coming out, keeping Tilde in disadvantage. Ooh, big up tilt. Nope, nice read by um, Tilde, but still not enough just yet. Big text. Are we back? We are. Charles will be able, able to get back to the stage. Oh, and no. a read on the jump by Tilde takes a stock. A huge stock number one for Tilde. Mm -hmm. Very scary in that situation, because you would have to burn the air dodge just on the assumption that it's going to happen. And you're not going to get out of the way with Charizard's big body at slower speed. I like, really like the use of Water Gun by Quid the Force. It gets the Vanisade out, and we see once again that Razor Leaf up B so clutch 
four quid uh, in those uh, need stock situations. Um, off the ledge now, once again, uh, both these cats are struggling in disadvantage that we saw how good Tilde has been at keeping and uh, getting those those offensive guesses right. Ooh. Oh, and Squirrel's weight coming into what play. What a conversion off the tech chase. That down air into back air, killing Squirrel before the hit on down air. It was like around 50 or 60%. We mm. were low. And that is huge. That is why if you can keep Squirtle out, getting those stocks real early can be a big benefit of that. Tilly taking advantage there. However, now that Squirtle showing why it has been so potent, Ivysaur gets a punish. Yep. Looking for an up air. Just barely whiffs. Yeah, I do like the choice by Tilde on that one side beat to remove himself from the Ivysaur mix. Almost gets uh, outed. Ooh. Oh, the what coverage was so good. The trap by Quid, excellent. But even, even better right now. The advantage state coming out from Tilde. Big punish. Yes. Sidey back air. A lot of damage off stage on this one. Tilda's going to get the chance to set up some ledge pressure. Double up air, just barely not enough. We were on the line of the blast zone. Spacing out a little bit on this one. This is definitely a bit of work cut out for Quid. But we've seen the ability to do it. 29% is a nice start. Gets underneath the Razor Leaf. Nice. Big trade. Oh, it's going to be it. Yeah, That's gonna be yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Very nice. The hit confirms from Tilde have been so good. It is not easy to react to that down air, get hitting it in neutral, and then immediately going for that back air. Because uh, you have to turn it around, might I add. Remember mm -hmm. here, down air, and pause, has to turn around before he does it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Devin and I have the same <laughs> idea. And then has to go for that jump up back air. Yep, a very good call on that one. And you see, too, Quid had that offensive momentum going, but then till they just snuck in, and suddenly Quid was on defense going, uh, what do you mean I'm on defense now? And till they just didn't leave until he had the conversion on that one. Very scary to deal with an explosive offense like that. And we are back to the stage where Quid won game one, has been dominant so far in the sets between these two players. Big up tilts, gonna get some damage. Stocko off the stage, no jump. Gets back to that platform safely, but Quid gonna go down, maintain that stage control. Yep. Now, the pressure in the corner by Tilde, so good so far. Big parries. Good reset on that one. And speaking of resets, Quid doing a good job of waiting to get down to the ground before the spot dodge to not get clipped by the Falco up air. Up throw. Big damage for Tilde there. Nice. Oh, oh there's the bait. All yeah. right. And we've seen so far, Tilde has adapted to the timings of um, Ivysaur, or the switches from Quid. Um, Ivysaur now out, and we've seen so far how good Quid has been with this Ivysaur. So close to taking stocks at dangerously early percents we've seen with, oh, the weight. Ooh, excellent DI by Tilly to get out of that situation. Parry on the back air. Fair's not gonna be enough just yet, but the um, DI to live there from Quid, very good. But the situation, not looking good. Tilde, once again, has been in the corner. Miss grab, no whiff punish. Looking to cover that. Uh, Whoa! And that back air just barely outranging the offensive option from Ivysaur. <laughs> okay, that was some DI, but we're back at even stocks. <laughs> yeah, we're getting back on the even. All right. This is a great way to start the stock for Tilde on this one. Quick 66 coming out. However, I I disadvantage. I another down there. I thought it was down. <laughs> Yep, that's just not quite spaced out on that one. Kind of difficult to space your stuff out to be safe with Squirtle, even though he's very quick and not too punishable on a lot of his moves. Nice little turnaround there once again by Tilde on that down air. Big down air, gets the back air. That's a huge stock for Tilde. Opportunity for the reset here. Up, almost a full stock. Can Quid make this massive comeback and be a Xeno champion? Or is Tilde going to be able to push this to a second set? I'm liking the patience here on this one, not looking to commit too hard, holding onto that center stage. Massive damage coming out right now. 46% on a character like Trainer, um, with Squirtle still out. And Squirtle really needs to be out. We've seen the effectiveness of Squirtle. Ivies are now disadvantaging, missing the timing on the neutral getup. That is so costly. This is going to be huge damage. Okay, that also dragged down into the. Um, uh, the Nair uh, dragged down into the not a true combo with this percent just yet. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
See, and I like the slow place that Quid is playing at here, but Tilde's just got these zone breakers coming out with the Phantasm. Ooh! And a big dare call out on the jump in is going to take that stock, and a necessary one. A similar situation to what we saw in Game 2. An opportunity to clinch out uh, the set. Um, right now, already, though, at that 103%, we are one Falco confirm away from this set moving into a second grand that finals. And that oh my god! Okay, that hit. <laughs> <laughs> Has he got shoes on his feet, too? Or shoes on his hands, too? Jeez. Okay. Um, yeah, for those that are uncertain as to what we were talking about, uh, if you missed it, you could have blinked and missed it. Um, gets back down to the ground, that up till comes out, and, and um, this hit. Yeah. Let's, let me... Let me uh, da, da, da. Can we enhance? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go... All right, let's look at the positioning. Yeah, so I, okay, so Whoa. Ivysaur's little footsie, <laughs> Ivysaur's little baby footsie, you can see there, is in Falco's foot as it's swinging back. Mm -hmm. And that is what is why Ivysaur gets hit. It is a game of inches. It is a game of pixels. That's like, that's like a Power Rangers yeah. kick, not even anywhere close. <laughs> <laughs> well... We're going into a new set, which is lovely for us because it means we're going to see some more excellent Super Smash Bros. Yep. And a great start from Tilde. 53%, looking so nice so far. And really, the adaptation from, from Tilde and disadvantage over the Quid has been so good. Zero to death. That is the end of your life, Quid. Uh, you're down to stock. What is the response? Right now, the response is Tilde's getting a whole lot more damage still. Mm hmm. He's got one point. Okay, 16% on the board now. Looking a little healthier, but this is not a great start. Who's gonna have a lot of work to do here. Oh, and that fair nearly hitting Ivysaur. Up he cancel, get yeah. back to stage safely. And a similar jump call out to what we saw Quid do in the last game, a jump call out from Tilde, and this is dominant. Do oh, yes. Straight, utter domination by Tilde. Has he lost neutral once? Uh, Has he lost to Joe? We'll ones? find out. Ooh. All right. I am still liking that Quid is throwing out these hitboxes on this one, but this is a really bad situation. That one hit too. <laughs> that one hit too. He didn't lose neutral once. I don't think he lost neutral one time. What do you mean? How has these sets been so, so close? And then this is what happens. Goodness gracious, a huge and really nice jump call out uh, there by uh, Tilde. Yeah, that jump call out was good. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> losing neutrals for sucker, says Tilde. I'm going to just win the game without losing it once. <laughs> that was God. some baloney. I love it, though. I love the baloney. That is, this, is this what they talk I mean, about? When <gasps> okay. What? He what? Said, All right, you want a zero to death me? I got, oh, I got no. some, I got some stuff. I, oh. I don't know if this is an admission of defeat. I've never seen Quid play this character. Hard to say, but uh, we'll see going forward. No, twenty-eight percent isn't bad. We, and the, uh, the thing about New York is we really don't have any active Luigi's. Um, and this is a matchup that notably can be pretty tough for Falco, and it's working out so far for uh, for Tilda or for a Quid, a quick, um, uh, you know, 110% already. <laughs> and I have never heard or seen of this character from Quid, but we are seeing something brand new mm -hmm. coming out. And this it's this is really interesting to see because it's. <sighs> The neutral is a little straight. Like, that is an interesting call. Yeah. But, um, All right. Has to land. Luigi does, similar to um, trainer, struggle to land. Has yeah. to make sense. That down B is certainly very nice. <laughs> That's not going to be no. enough. And in, look, the Luigi has already done my... Oh, no! No. Okay, okay. okay. Excellent, okay. excellent SDI there from Tilde. We don't need a free... It's, it's okay. I, we got the SDI. I know. No. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's like, you see the first three seconds, like, oh, please, God. All right, big. Yeah, it's still out. not enough. Yep, still. Oh, oh I got the platform. Stuck on the platform. <laughs> <laughs> we're just banana bunkers. Hanna Barbera uh, scream. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what we're, though, we're that, not, is, the mo that is the most good. Luigi way to die is just walking slowly on the platform as it goes away. Oh. Right. 
I will say we're seeing some good usage of uh, Luigi's Nair on this one to trade his way out of Tilde's combos a little bit. Okay. Oh. Nice parry coming out All right. from Quid. This should be a really nice amount of percent yeah. for uh, Tilde, or rather for Quid. Yo, the catch? That's excellent, you're dead. This Luigi kind of looking schnice. Yeah, this is kind of putting in the work right now. This is a good lead. This was a, an excellent switch. I think uh, this is, you know, based on the pick of, um, you know, Town and City. Only so much to, space to run. All right. Let's not get stuck on the platform again. We don't want that. Yeah. Big back air. Right. That's gonna be it. Okay. More We're traditional even. way to lose the stock on this one. We're on even. Oh, that was spooky. Um, oh, yeah. we're, we're at even percents, this even is, stocks. This is the Luigi neutral. This is the I'm going to throw out the grabs with no guilt. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the floor. It's so funny. Uh, I it's love like, Luigi. plumbing, plumbing. I've got the plunger. I'm going to grab you. Oh, okay. All right. The fair's there. This is a potential edge guard here. Okay, right. down to into fair. Back into neutral, uh, out of the corner for Quinn. That's a lot of damage. Down Ooh. the so good in that placement. I actually do like the uh, the Zera on that one to potentially catch a landing on the platform. Not a lot of damage, but does rack it on and cover that option without any risk to uh, Quinn. That should oh, be it. Be the Up till though. back air. No. Not enough. Luigi's got some weight on him. All right. On the stage, what's the dash attack? Immediately, get up, dash that attack. That move's good now. That, they made that move okay. That, I know, uh, <laughs> but you look. It, it takes. Oh, you're dead! Oh, you're dead! Oh, we're going to game three from zero. Dash attack. That's how that ends. I mean, the awareness. Oh my god. The awareness for that. You know, there's, there's, there is a sense of abandon here, right? You don't, as a sane person, nobody gets up in a tournament stock situation with, yeah, I'll Luigi that dash was, attack. That was Zare, a true combo. <laughs> Zare <laughs> dash attack to kill Falco. Oh my God. At just over 100% after the hit. They this made is, that move is, good. This is like a Xeno AU. This isn't real. This isn't actually happening right now. I would love to see Quinn pull this out. No bias, but this would be the, amazing. The, the Luigi has worked out. Yep. The Falco dominated. All right. Gonna this take is it. the final. Oh, no. Okay. This is the final decider All right. of whose combo Ooh. character will come out on top. Okay, double right. up tilt. Knows that he can't get a true combo there due to Luigi's Nair. Yep, I do Down. like the patience. And wow, th th and we're kind of seeing the difficulty that, that Tilde's been having getting back to stage. Fal no! Falco's <laughs> air mobility is, is, is certainly on the weaker side. Um, nice. Right there. Uh, that's still able to make it back. Oh, oh Miss Tech! But we're back. Still gonna okay. make it back, yeah. So yep. that low percent, we're still making it back. Savvy back air. Tilde in advanced state. Gets the ledge trap, misses out. That down B gonna get punished though. These wake up options are something else, and, man. Okay, I don't think, I wanna say that that could have been the DI, but an air dodge at full hop height, oh gonna God. be costly. Where it even stops once again. Oh God, this is it. This is the Luigi danger zone. All right, and see, we're seeing it too, is that Quid is also playing around it, catching these jumps from Tilde, but this is a whole bunch of damage on this one. Oh, a missed dash attack though. Keeping Tilde right. in the corner. What is it? Ooh, I would have liked yep. to have seen a grab, but still, nice call out from the quid. Gets that jump read. It's so scary. Even there. at a percent where you're outside of the zero to death, it's so scary to stay in range of that grab. Yeah, I mean, still, there's so much you can get off of that. Looking for that up smash. Doesn't get it. Looking for a Ooh. second one. Gets punished on the corner of that stage now. Nice, a, a good nice angle. Beefy down B there as well. Uh, with the excellent angle to put that hitbox there. Mm -hmm. Actually times it a little differently as well with that angle to keep him out of the two frame with the down tilt. Oof. Gets past that up smash. Okay. This, mm -hmm. good. <laughs> this is so scary, oh, We're dude. back to stands with an up air. The ledge jump has been so good, but so has the disadvantage state. I said it was the key. And goodness, the players have really lived up to the hype okay. when it comes to that oh, sour we spot bear. back air. Yep. I see a little bit of the, the crawl. <laughs> oh, okay. We're yep. crawling. We're walking. Yep. And this is walk. this is a really strong tool from Luigi having that back air. Down tilt. Uh, even enough. on Misty Eye, not enough. Okay. Up there though is until it takes a stock lead. 
This is it. We are at the last stock for Quid. We're at dangerously close to the last stock for Chill Day. All right. Oh, it was south what a catch on the jump. There. Bear oh, techs. Nice tech. Okay, this is huge. Right. Big extra credit time yep. for Chill Day. 21% is, 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 is already a decent spot to be in. You want to get more. 31, good position. All right, going for the death tech Turn again. Turn great punish. All right, Ooh. hitting his way down again with that Nair. Very good combo break option, very quick, and covers Luigi very well. An excellent angle avoiding the Luigi back air. Fire! All right, that no, angle come. really pulling in a lot of work, keeping him away from those stage spikes. And not only that, the survivor ability has, all... has allowed him to get back to stage and get more damage. Like, that's so, so big. Mm -hmm. And going for a lot of these dash attacks, uh, open himself up to some extra damage on this one. He could probably still benefit from the rage, but at 167, hasn't closed out the stock. And this is a lot of extra work that Quid's making for himself if he manages to oh, close it out. Oh, the back air is enough! Hey! And we avoid a new champion. I'm sure Devin's happy. <laughs> Tilde is our... Although, I, I must say... What a pick! For Pete, Quad Pete, Xeno Weekly Champion, Till day? Look, I have commentated a lot of Super Smash Bros. Mm -hmm. I commentated when John Numbers was dominant in Smash 4 at Xeno. Mm -hmm. I commentated when Dill was dominant in Smash 4 at Xeno. I commentated the early parts of this game where we were seeing Dill and Numbers and all these other people dominating the game early on. This feels different. Yeah, this is strong. And we've only really seen, uh, this was a great showing, honestly. The Luigi pick seemed to throw uh, Tilde for a loop on that one, but Tilde pretty dominant. We've seen Zamba try to hold him down 